In problem five, we're asked to graph a rational function, actually two of them, and determine the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of the domain. So if you put this into your calculator, you'll put the entire function in for y1, and when you graph, you need to be very careful in the denominator and put parentheses around the entire thing. So I would recommend that you do that just so you can see what it looks like on your calculator. Now let's find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptote is a vertical line and it's going to have equation x equals something. So the way we find that is we set the denominator equal to 0. So in this case x equals 7 is my vertical asymptote. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in here and label it. The vertical asymptote leads directly to the domain because the domain includes all real numbers except the x value that comes from the vertical asymptote because we can't cross over a vertical asymptote. That's a place where the denominator of our fraction equals 0. To find the horizontal asymptote, what we want to do, it's first of all, it's a horizontal line, so it's of the form y equals. So I want to take the highest degree terms in the numerator and denominator and make a fraction out of those, 4x over x, and then if I can, reduce. So 4x over x, the x's will reduce, y equals 4 is my horizontal asymptote, and that's a line right there, so let's draw it and label it. Looking at part B, again, when you graph this on your calculator, negative 3x divided by parentheses 7x plus 9. So be careful there. To find the vertical asymptote, we're going to set the denominator equal to 0. So I'm going to write my equation form here, 7x plus 9 equals 0. 7x equals negative 9, so x equals negative 9 over 7. That's my vertical asymptote. So if I graph this vertical line right here, uh, there we go. Not quite vertical, but close enough. Let's graph it and label it. So our domain then is going to be all real numbers except the x value that comes from our vertical intercept. To find the horizontal asymptote, I'm going to take the ratio of the highest degree terms in the numerator and denominator, and it's going to be y equals negative 3x over 7x. If I can reduce, I do. So the x's will cancel, negative 3 sevenths. So if I draw, this is going to be really hard, but it shouldn't touch those graphs. So it's right here. It's a guiding line for the function. y equals negative 3 over 7 should be my horizontal asymptote. Now, I want to show you one more example. If you have a function like f of x equals, let's just say, uh, 5 over x plus 1, and you want to find the horizontal asymptote. It would still be y equals, and you take the highest degree term in the numerator and denominator, that's going to be 5 over x. Because there's an x in the denominator, as x gets really, really large, this ratio will approach 0. Therefore, y equals 0 would be the horizontal asymptote. So that's kind of a special case that's not covered in this example, so you want to be sure and write it down.